Hi, welcome to Discover Your Life Today YouTube channel. My name is Maveen Cora. I am from discoveryourlifetoday.com. Today I'll be talking about how to boost energy and relax when you're tired. You can actually go over to discoveryourlifetoday.com and take a look at the article that I also wrote. It's uh, called discoveryourlifetoday.com forward slash boost energy and relax. So if you want, you know, you can take some notes on this or just really think of different ways that you can uh, find ways to relax either on the weekends so you can boost your energy uh, when it comes Monday and it's game day. It's time to play when you go back to work here, right? So it's time to get busy and, uh, you know, make money or do whatever you need to do when you go to work. But you do need to find those times where you can actually recuperate your mind, body and soul. So my goal here is to kind of give you some uh, ideas on how you can go about doing that and just give you some ways to do it. So it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Most people are typically waiting for the weekend to come. Saturdays and Sundays typically are the days that people want to, to come so they can go ahead and have that two days off from their Monday to Friday. You know, this is the real time that we get to boost our energy and relax and, and, and spend it uh, with the people that we most enjoy spending that time with. You can't blame, uh, you know, if billions or sorry, millions of people are looking forward to the weekend, or even billions of people are looking forward to the weekend every week. You know, today more and more people are putting in longer hours uh, at the expenses of their family just to cover bills and, and other household, um, uh, you know, uh, incomes or bills as well, such as mortgage and, and taxes and whatnot, right? And of course, everybody's just trying to put uh, stuff together so they can. Um, you know, go out and enjoy the time with their families, you know, and not have to worry about all the things that are at work that need to be completed. But most of the time nowadays, people are still bringing home that work uh, to the home so they can go ahead and complete that work because they have so many deadlines they need to meet, you know. So how can you build yourself back up? So this is kind of what we'll be going over as we go through this. So Monday to Friday is, is pretty hard on all of us, I do agree, but many of us still enjoy working Monday to Friday, and I hope you are one of those people that are watching this video. And for most people, hump day is the Wednesday, right? That's the middle of the week at 12 o'clock uh, when you know it's, it's on the, the roller coasters on the way back down instead of the Monday when it's all the way back up, right? So it, it just means a few more hours, a few more days, and you're done and just ready for the weekend, right? And when the weekend comes, but what is it most people do? We kind of feel stressed because we only have two days now to get everything that we need to get done out of the way so we can go back to work Monday and perform at our job. So I understand that everybody uh, does need to do different things on the weekend to ensure that they are able to uh, have you know a good weekend and then get back to Monday and work so they can um, be productive when they go. My goal is to help you boost your energy when you go back to work on Monday so you can work at the most uh, highest peak performance levels that you can. So here's a couple of 10 different ways that I'm gonna give you to relax. I'm gonna go through five of them, five different ones in detail, and I'm also gonna give you some bonus ones at the end as well. So just different ways that you can uh, relax. So really in the end, this becomes 20 different ways that you can boost your energy and relax. So one of them is watch a movie. You can more more than welcome to meditate. You can go out for a couple of drinks with a, a friends or two. Uh, you know, you don't have to go for many drinks. So one drink usually can help kind of knock that edge off, and you can uh, relax that way. And you know, kind of talk to your friends and uh, kind of find ways to communicate with them. And you never know that can help you. Uh, you know, play around with all the information that's going on in your mind and help you solve problems even when you're not trying to. You can meet up with friends for dinner. You can go to the gym and eat healthy. You can cook, you can clean the house, you can have a date night with your spouse or significant other, you can do a puzzle, that can definitely help you relax, and you can boost your energy by sometimes going to bed early. I know most people are not getting their required seven, eight hours of sleep. Most people are probably walking around with five to six hours of sleep every day because you know there's just so much things to do on a daily basis. So what is your favorite way to relax and gain energy for yourself. You know, I'm gonna look at five ways that I typically use, and, and some of what I mentioned earlier as well are some ways that I look at, look at increasing my energy, but I wanna give you five ways that I really use that I think you can also benefit uh, from, not just by relaxing to boost your energy, but there are also different ways that can help you in other parts of your life as well. So the first way I, ben uh, I uh, boost my energy and relax is by reading. 
reading for most people is by far the most relaxing um, activity that you can do. You sit on the couch, you sit in front of the fireplace, you might have a glass of wine or whatnot, and you just sit back and relax and read a good book. Now, some people, they enjoy reading fiction. Some people enjoy nonfiction. Some people enjoy, you know, self-help or history or romance, religion, business or technical books. Uh, there's so many different books that you can go ahead and read. Uh, you know, try not to read from a place of wanting to continually learn something. Sometimes you do need to unwind your mind and uh, just read something that's just easy to read as well. Now, I would also pick something that is going to challenge your mind. So if you work in business, maybe read a book about, you know, gardening. You know, read something a little different than what you're always going to read a book and try to expand different uh, areas of your mind. Uh, what I would also suggest you do is maybe try to find 5 to 10, 15 minutes and sit uh, and read for a little bit. You can turn off the TV maybe 5 to 10 minutes earlier before bedtime and you get that reading time in. There's nothing wrong with that. The next thing I would do is suggest is take a bath. Now, I'm not, I know taking a bath is probably not popular with a lot of people, but that's okay. Um, I do know it is something that you can definitely do. It's nice, it's relaxing, and it's definitely rejuvenating. Uh, a nice hot bath or even a nice warm bath as well. You know, it, it's, I don't know when the last time you took a bath was, but you probably remember the feeling of relaxation that you got when you were able to do that. Uh, when you take a hot bath, it definitely helps relax your mind and relax your body. It probably can help you also sleep as well at night. But I would suggest maybe you try a cold bath as well. A cold bath will wake you up. It will energize and boost the energy in your body. Uh, you know, I would also suggest if you are going to take a bath or a long shower or whatnot, leave your phone in a different room, unplug from it, and try to just get away from that. The third way uh, you can boost your energy and relax is have a cup of green tea. I, I recommend uh, tea, green tea simply because green tea is one of the uh, most um, popular drinks in the world. It's also one of the most healthiest teas that you can drink. If you're going to choose between all the different types of green tea, if you want the most healthiest one, I would go with a nice matcha tea. It takes a little bit more work to make other than just steeping tea. You can definitely check out the videos in the link at the, at the end of this video to talk about uh, why I choose to drink matcha tea. Um, but you know, there's nothing wrong with drinking a nice black cup of tea, white tea, oolong tea, or any other herbal blend tea that you definitely enjoy. Now, for other teas that I do also enjoy is maybe looking at something like a kombucha. Kombucha is, is a nice drink. It could also help with your gut health as well. It's a fermented tea. Uh, it is great for probiotics as well. It kind of can help you get rid of some of that sluggishness by kind of helping you clean out your digestive tract as well. The fourth thing I enjoy to do is I like going for a walk, and this is something I think everybody can really benefit from. It's one of the simplest exercises you can do, and it doesn't cost you any money. You just have to go outside and put on some shoes and go outside and start to walk around the block. You know, you don't have to pay for a monthly membership at the gym to do this. Uh, you know, all you, like I said, is need the right pair of shoes, the right clothing, and just make sure you're wearing the right clothing for the uh, weather that's appropriate outside. You can walk in the community parks. You can drive a little bit further. You can go to a national park, walk around in nature. It doesn't matter as long as you get outside of your home. A lot of people like to take their phone with them. They like to put some music in their ear. What I would recommend is maybe try to listen to a different podcast and get something that you enjoy listening to and put that in your ear and try to you know, relax, maybe even some relaxing sounds, some jazz music, some classical music as well. Uh, or if you enjoy listening to a podcast and try to listen to somebody that can teach you something different than what you're used to doing at work. And the fifth thing which I would recommend is you know, maybe go for a massage or a spa day. For many people, spas, uh, sorry, at least massages, I should say, are covered by their health benefits through their work. So if you have that health benefit covered for you, I recommend you go for a 30, a 60, or a 90 minute massage, maybe once every few months, and, and really help loosen up those tight muscles that we get by sitting at our desks and continuously typing at 
uh, on our computers. You know, that really does tighten up the shoulders, it tightens up your back, it tightens up your chest area, and it makes you kind of slug forward. So what you want to do is kind of bring everything back, loosen everything up, so you have more energy and you're not being drained uh, from that, because we do sit in front of the computers a long time every single day. As well as, don't forget, we're also bending our heads down, we create that arc in our, in our neck here, and that typically can cause pain in there as well. So you want to loosen up those muscles, you want to get your muscles rejuvenated, and your mind and your body as well. Like I said, I would also give you five additional ways that you can um, increase your energy. So one of the things you can do is make sure you're taking care of your financial situation. Find ways to increase your income. Lose weight if you are overweight. That will definitely help increase your energy. Find a hobby, something that you enjoy doing, and maybe start a business. You know, these five things here, they're not things that will necessarily um, cause you to relax, but they are things that will help you relax in the future when you start taking care of your personal finances and your, and your habits. And you never know, you might be able to start a business where you can one day walk away from your full-time job. My name is Maveen Kora. I am from discoveryourlifetoday.com. Thank you for watching my YouTube video on my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'd love to hear how you relax or how you plan to relax this weekend uh, after watching this video. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please like the video as well. And you're more than welcome to head over to discoveryourlifetoday.com and subscribe to the blog. Other than that, I hope you have yourself a great day.